Of course, the large robotics projects that DARPA sponsored. You should understand, too, that the very first competition that DARPA ever did was for self-driving cars, as I'd like to call them. I call them computer-driven, government-controlled cars because controlling transportation, controlling your movements is as important in total totalitarian societies as it is to control everything that you read, everything that you see. So they want to control the internet. They also want to control the actual highway, not just the information highway. Now, IARPA, this uh, not very well-known agency, uh, back in October of last year, they had a special uh, fair that they invited uh, uh, people to come see, a few select journalists. They say uh, it was an industry day. And the uh, people reporting on this, of course, they were invited, they invited the uh, uh, federal, the FCW, which is some kind of a, a federal, um, I'm trying to look at the paper here, I don't see what agency it is. But it's basically an internet site that reports on what the federal government is doing for federal workers. Uh, they say that they're the same program where they're looking at predicting what's going to happen with crowds, looking at publicly available data and predicting how things are going to break, whether it's going to be civil unrest, uh, looking to see if people are getting sick. Uh, we know that they're mining social media furiously and saving this and then also trying to use it to move the population in a particular direction. They say they had a, an industry day. They said it was very upbeat. This is a federal workers uh, site. They say they had a welcome package, including a handout with a quote from the New York Times saying that IARPA is one of the government's most creative agencies. And then they had this to say, which I thought was interesting, coming from kind of a, a puff piece. They say, but the openness has its limits. Media were welcome as long as they didn't quote officials by name. I oh, can't have that. An IARPA analyst grew visibly uncomfortable at seeing a reporter at his demonstration, and he quickly summoned a public affairs officer to serve as intermediary. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be inviting me or anybody else here at InfoWars to come uh, to their industry days. We might be uh, actually quoting some of these guys <laughs> and telling people what they're actually planning on doing, even though most of their plans are secret. Now, one of the articles that I saw on Drudge Report today uh, about Marco Rubio, and of course he's saying that Homeland Security funding must continue despite this fight over immigration. One of the few things that the Republicans did not fully fund throughout the entire year was Homeland Security to give them a little bit of leverage perhaps over the immigration debate because that is being done. Obama's amnesty is being enacted through the Department of Homeland Security. Rubio doesn't think that that should, should happen. He thinks that uh, it's just too important. We have to do this for our own security, for our national security. But let's think about this. As they point out in the article, they say Obama's order is going to let immigrants get here illegally and work, get work permits. They can collect Social Security. They can get Medicare and they can get tax credits from previous years by just filing some paperwork with the IRS. When they can do all of that, it makes me ask the question, why how does Marco Rubio really define security? How do you define security if you have no control over your borders, if you have a massive cloward and piven takedown of the economy, with handing out massive financial incentives for people to come here and giving them Social Security, giving them tax refunds from previous years when they may or may not have been here. When you destroy the economy of a country like that, when you destroy control over the borders, how then do you define security? Is security something that is there only to protect the government's continuity of government? I think maybe in his world it does because there was another article that came out. Uh, just a couple of days ago at the uh, International Students for Liberty meeting in D.C. Uh, that was just last week. I think it might have been this last weekend. Uh, Justin Amash talked about Marco Rubio. Now, Marco Rubio is for permanently reauthorize, reauthorizing the Patriot Act. That's what he was concerned about. Here's the quote from Marco Rubio. It was an op-ed piece that he had, and uh, it was on foxnews.com. Marco Rubio said, this year... A new Republican majority in both houses of Congress will have to extend current authorities under the FISA Act, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. I urge my colleagues to consider a permanent extension of the counterterrorism tools our intelligence community relies on to keep the American people safe. 
So we don't have to worry about a cloud and pivot takedown of our economy with open borders. Uh, that's not a threat to our security. We have to have Homeland, the, the Patriot Act made permanent. Now, after he did that, Congressman Justin Amash retweeted that with the single comment, single word comment, disqualified. I think Amash is exactly right. That disqualifies him as a senator, not simply as a presidential candidate or as a vice presidential running mate, which is probably what he's angling for. And of course, the Patriot Act's illegal section 215, which is what they've used to justify their dragnet surveillance, that is coming up for reauthorization. It's set to expire June 1st. We should let it expire. And we should let Marco Rubio expire in his Senate term, not give him any more power. It's a very, very disturbing thing to see the Patriot Act made permanent. We need to all be aware of what's going on. We need to roll this back, not just be aware of it. Stay with us. We'll be right back with some more news before we go to Hugo de Garris. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by LeSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LeSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LeSig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LeSig e-cigarettes, kick some ash. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. FakeTV.com. Hey there, Guns80.com continues to surprise us with low prices and high-quality Ghost AR-15 rifle kits. At Guns80.com, Ghost AR-15 kits are an even better idea than buying at gun shows or through private parties. Because the Ghost AR-15 kits at Guns80.com require no background checks, no registration, they don't even have serial numbers. That's what I call privacy. Go to Guns80.com to order your Ghost AR-15 rifle kit. No dealers, no hassles, ship direct. Guns80.com or 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248. 6780. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com. The future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. Tips. We up to Alaska. We up to Alaska. No to Alaska. Go north to Russia's home. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. As I pointed out before, we're going to be joined in the next hour with Dr. Hugo de Garris, one of the pioneers of artificial intelligence. He's going to talk to us about his dystopian projections for the future. Uh, if this comes to fruition, and he believes that it is inevitable. So we're going to talk to him about why he believes that, as well as uh, we'll take some of your calls and questions for him. He's agreed to stay a little bit longer with us so that we can take some calls. He'll be joining us in the next hour. We'll be taking uh, your calls at the top of the third hour. Now, in the last segment, we were talking about uh, Marco Rubio 
who wants to make the Patriot Act authorization permanent. He wants to make the dragnet surveillance that we see happening. He wants to make that permanent. He wants to fund Homeland Security, which is being used uh, to carry out Obama's executive orders. That's the little bit of leverage, even that little bit, that, that little bone that was uh, thrown to the uh, Republican voting uh, base by Boehner and others that we're going to try to pull back some of this open border stuff with Homeland Security because uh, border control is under Homeland Security. Even that, Marco Rubio says, no, 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 we don't want to tie any conditions to Homeland Security. Let's just let them do whatever they want to. Let's go business as usual, fund everything. Here's how Ted Cruz talked about immigration on the Fox News uh, show with Megyn Kelly. With respect to the ruling, we, I disagree with it. Uh, I think the law is on our side and history is on our side. And uh, we are going to appeal it. We will be prepared to implement this full, uh, fully as soon as the legal issues uh, get resolved. He seems undeterred. Well, that, that, that has been the nature of the Obama presidency from, from day one. You know, it's interesting. He says the law is on his side. There is at least one person who calls himself a legal scholar who disagrees, and, and his name is Barack Obama. 22 <laughs> times President Obama has admitted he doesn't have the authority mm -hmm. to issue unilateral amnesty. 22 times he says the Constitution doesn't allow it. He said this is not a monarchy. That's his quote. That's a fact. And then after the last election, he said... Never mind, and he issued it anyway. Yeah, and he just keeps getting away with it because the Republicans refuse to impeach him. Even though we have a majority in the Senate and we have a very large majority in the House, they won't even attempt it. Now they'll tell you that they don't have a large enough majority to get it through uh, the Senate. That hasn't stopped them from passing the Keystone Pipeline 10 times. They know they're not going to get that through, but they want to show that they're working for their real constituents the big corporations behind the Keystone Pipeline. They could care less about the Republican voters. Now, we do have some good news out of South Dakota. We see that uh, they have passed constitutional carry. This is a message that went out from Gun Owners of America yesterday saying that the South Dakota State House has passed constitutional carry that will allow people in South Dakota to exercise their Second Amendment rights to carry a firearm. Now, we'll have to see if it gets through the other house and if the governor signs it. But, you know, it basically recognizes that the Second Amendment addresses a right of the people, not a privilege granted by the government. That's also very positive news. And we also see that uh, frozen temperatures everywhere, even Niagara Falls is frozen. There's an article on CNN talking about how it's such a site that it's become a tourist attraction to see the frozen Niagara Falls. And of course, the Great Lakes have frozen over. We've got Lake Erie with 98% ice. And there's an article from uh, MLive that talks about how the Great Lakes ice uh, is growing faster than even last year's frigid winter. They say not only is uh, Lake Erie above where it was last year, but Lake Huron is also closing in on its record last year. Lake Ontario, 78.5% ice. Last year it was just 31.5% ice. You know, there's decreased solar activity. We also have more CO2. I would say that perhaps that points to some failed climate change models. Maybe it's not man-made, and maybe the globe is not warming. Stay with us. We're going to be right back. We've got a little bit more news, and then Hugo de Garris is going to be joining us from China. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. 
and to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139.